Today's lesson is over the series of copper compounds beginning and ending with copper metal. The objective is to perform and record observation involved in the cycle and then determine the amount of copper recovery. This is copper cycle life cycle. I got you, D Games. Copper cycle life cycle. Copper cycle life cycle. Got my goggles, full throttle. I'm in the lab doing chemistry. Before we start the copper cycle, make sure to have on your goggles. Now you got your beaker bottles. Okay, let's do chemistry, cause chemistry is what I do, and what I do is chemistry, synthesis, chemicals, and I work with nitric acid, oxidation, nitration, bloom, green precipitation. Put it on a hot plate and get a black precipitate. Then filter it. Sulfuric acid, distilled water, filter paper, and then I collect the blue solution and then add zinc. The color changes colorless When you add ammonia and see there is no color change Then dry it, collect the weight and calculate Final initial times 100% recovery Copper cycle, life cycle Copper cycle, life cycle Got my goggle, full throttle I'm in the lab doing chemistry when you do the copper cycle, make sure to keep steady pace. Do not make a speedy haze. And discard your copper waste. That's a safety hazard. Add a nitric acid under the hood. Now convert copper metal to copper nitrate. Then copper nitrate to copper hydroxide. Then copper hydroxide to copper oxide. Then copper oxide to copper sulfate. Then copper sulfate back to copper metal. You just did a copper cycle, just like a ABC, a black chemist. You're in the lab doing chemistry. That's what you do. Chemistry. Copper cycle, life cycle. Copper cycle, life cycle. Got my goggles, full throttle. I'm in the lab doing chemistry. Copper cycle, life cycle. Copper cycle. Life cycle. Got my goggle, full throttle. I'm in the lab doing chemistry. The copper cycle is a laboratory exercise. We start with a piece of copper metal. For example, a penny. Where we dissolve in a concentrated acid, which precipitates a copper hydroxide. And then after several steps, she can reduce everything back to copper metal. This is important because it demonstrates the broadness of copper chemistry. That's the copper cycle. ABC. Chemistry.